thoughts on the match, the way that you're playing right now? Um, I thought I, uh, you know, I did a, a good job of um, kind of starting off really good, especially not knowing, um, you know, her game or really how she played. I haven't seen much of her, in, if, if at all. <laughs> so um, against those types of opponents, I think it's just really important to try to figure it out as fast as you can. And um, once I did, I thought I, you know, I did the right things. I thought I moved a little bit better than the other day and got good court coverage. And you know. With Elena being knocked out, one might say that that could be advantageous to you. But on the other hand, Melanie's playing very, very good tennis mm -hmm. this year. Um, Elena said in her press conference she most definitely was beaten by by Melanie. She she did not beat herself. I said Melanie beat Elena earlier this year. Your, th your thoughts on on you know the, the match that's, that's that's upcoming? Yeah, I saw some of it. Um, I mean, I was surprised the way Elena played. I thought I thought she could have done a few things better, but um, I certainly I mean when when Melanie had to step it up, she certainly did. You know, in the, in the times when you know when she could have, um, you know, she could have made errors. She came up with some really good shots, and um, so I mean, I've got a tough round ahead of me, and also somebody that I've never played against before, and someone that's going to come out, and I'm sure is just going to swing, and you know, have nothing to lose if she doesn't. And um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Totally understandable. I mean, we're in New York City, and we're playing. You know, I'm a Russian playing against a uh, young and up-and-coming girl that has, you know, a tremendous amount of potential. I, I think it would be strange if they weren't rooting for her. But I, I guess the other the follow-up is: Does it enter your mind that it'd be really good to try to get this thing over, you know, snuff out any hope real quickly so that the fans don't? I mean, to be honest, when when I'm on the court, I, I try to, you know, I don't focus on, I mean, I know that there are many people watching the match, but I've, I have enough experience to know my surroundings and know where I'm playing, and um, I, I don't really, I don't concentrate on the fact that someone is rooting, you know, against you or with you, or you obviously feel the energy of the crowd, and I think numerous times that that's helped me get through tough matches. But um, but at the end of the day, it's it's about being within yourself and really focusing on you know what you have to do. And I mean, if you if you think about oh I, you know I gotta finish gotta finish this and really fast, so the crowd doesn't get into it. I mean, I think you're gonna be screwed really fast. So. Marie, Christine was saying that you know, playing against you, let her learn what her how far she has to go to become a champion. Were you ever in that position that you played against someone who learned a lot about yourself? Yeah, I played Monica Sellis in Palm Springs many years ago, and <clears throat> the first two games I thought I played the best tennis in my life, and I think I only won one of those and didn't win a game after that. And I came off the court, and I, <laughs> I remember telling my parents, I was like, I thought I played <laughs> so well, and the score line is just horrible. <laughs> Where do I go from here? <laughs> And um, and you just keep working. And uh, I was fortunate to, to get to play her, and I thought that experience really helped me because I, I realized I had a lot of work to do. And, um, yeah. Maria, I know it's nice to win easily, but do you relish the thought of playing a player who competes very well and, and fights? Um, I think that's an important part of the game. Hmm. Yeah, and you mean my next round? Yeah, is it more fun to play someone where you know going in Well, I, I mean, I, I have to treat every opponent as someone that's going to go out there and compete. This is, a lot of it is that in the sport. If you're not a big competitor, and, you know, I've always said this game is, on most occasions, is more mental and, you know, how strong you are mentally out there than, than physical. And, um, and it's all about competing and, and, and fighting and knowing that it's, no matter what the scoreline is, it, it's not over till. You know, you're shaking hands. Do you think that <coughs> athletes are born that way, or do you learn that? Um, 
that's that's a tough one. I uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I certainly think life experiences contribute to it. Certainly, I think. I mean, if you're young and you're always used to getting things and everything is brought to you on a golden plate, um, then going on when you're older, you, you probably feel like all things are going to be brought to you, and you sometimes forget that you have to work for things. And I, mean, I, I certainly, I mean, my, my parents set a really good example as as a child that you have to work for every single thing that you have in your life, and um, you know that's what I really admired my parents is that they always taught me it's so it's so hard to earn something and gain something and whether and we're not just talking about money I mean in life in general and, and it's so easy to for it to go away and to lose it.